My beloved child, vigilantly attend to your words. Language wields profound potency, capable of bestowing blessings or inflicting wounds. When speech emerges thoughtlessly or bears a negative demeanor, it wreaks havoc upon both others and oneself. This capacity to articulate is a splendid privilege bestowed solely upon those fashioned in my likeness. Guidance is imperative as you navigate the judicious use of this formidable influence. Though society may laud swift-witted repostes, my precepts concerning communication diverge greatly. Be swift to hearken, measured in utterance, and gradual in embracing ire. Solicit my spirit's intervention each time words form upon your tongue. I have inculcated in you the habit of entreating, Aid me, Holy Spirit, prior to entertaining a call, and you have reaped the rewards of this regimen. Extend the same practice to your discourse with those who encircle you. When they maintain silence, petition before engaging, when they expound, entreat before rejoinding. Fleeting supplications these may be, yet they anchor you in my presence. Thus, your speech becomes a vessel for my spirit's governance. In this manner, the ascendancy of optimistic expressions supplants the negative, and the surge in your jubilation proves astonishing. Cling tenaciously to the hope you avow for I remain steadfast. There are instances, particularly amid a cascade of adversities, when your sole recourse is to hold firm to me. The inclination to untangle your thoughts and ascertain a path forward is alluring, but often elusive. In such junctures, the optimal course is to turn your gaze toward me and vocally affirm your hope to profess hope is to proclaim it unabashedly. Your words wield significance. They yield impact, not only upon others, but also upon yourself. Their influence reverberates in your physical and emotional well-being. Pessimistic utterances exert a gravitational pull downward. Yet, when you openly avow your hope and reliance upon me, you accrue the fortitude to progress confidently. The bedrock of this assurance lies in my faithfulness. Furthermore, I shall not permit you to be tempted beyond your capacity to withstand. Occasionally, the escape route I furnish surfaces through your own declarations, such as, I place my trust in you, Jesus. My hope resides in you. Such assertions enable you to steadfastly clasp your hope, unyielding and persistent. Type Amen if you believe. 